All right, what's up, boys, and welcome to How to Dominate, episode 65. Today, we're going to be playing Echo Jungle. There's a lot of variations of ways you can play Echo Jungle in terms of, like, runes and masteries, things like that. Um... I guess it's just runes now, but I consider it masteries. Anyways, um, the way that I like to play Echo Jungle is I take Electrocute, Sun Impact, Ravenous Hunter, Eyeball Collection, Magical Footwear, Cosmic Insight, Attack Speed, and a AP with um, the armor runes for your defensive runes. Um, as far as Echo Jungle goes, the reason this champion is strong now, it's actually really, really potent, you're even seeing it in pro play, but the reason why this champion is strong now is it got buffed a bunch of times in a row. It seems like Riot just really wanted it to be a jungler again. And now we're gonna see why. Um, the clear is actually much better. The main weakness of Echo Jungle originally was like, it had a really, really slow clear. It was hard to be able to get onto the map and do things. But um, nowadays, the with all the buffs, the clear is actually pretty healthy. And I'll show you like exactly how healthy it is here if you do Golem clear. You gotta be a little bit careful going towards topside. Um, Hecarim is actually something that's picked a decent amount into Echo, and the reason for that is that Hecarim actually has sustained damage, and you can't burst down a Hecarim, but um, overall, I think Echo can still play into it. It's just like you have to know what your options are on the map, and just capitalize on them. So here, we're just doing this. My Q here. Like that. So the reason why I... Um, Kite it a little bit is just because your talisman will heal you over time. And the main camp that you're going to heal off of the most is going to be your um, Wraith camp. So I'll show you how to do Wraiths. Essentially, you just want to kite it with two Qs and you'll be super healthy. You're going to be clearing towards topside. You want to pretty much Golem clear every game with Echo. I mean, there's times where you can go Wraith clear straight up. But um, Golem clear is pretty strong most times on the champion. So here, I'm going to proc it. And I'm just going to back up. Proc it again. And just try to walk to the other side. Q. Keep on walking. And you're just going to walk it out. Let it burn. Let it burn. Okay. So now you see how you're full health, pretty much. And you still have a smite charge, a smite charge up. You also have uh, two potions. Just really good overall. Just going to hit that. My Q didn't end up hitting both, but it's fine. This guy wants help mid. Kind of limited to like what I can do here though. I'm gonna save my smite charge here and just use a pod instead. Just in case I get contested on crab, I can smite it. And also, you heal a decent amount off the crab. Ooh, this guy's dead top. Uh, it's kind of annoying that um, we played it like this. This guy like did it really poorly with his element and Nard just suicided. I don't know why he's saying the game's over. He's just playing bad, but um, the game's not over by any means. Also, like Keanu just like kind of failed that one. Saying every lane is losing, so we... Lose, but that's actually not the case. I haven't found them yet. So you want to smite early so you get the uh, bonus from the W. Did what I could there, killing the Hecarim. Sucks that um, Kassin was able to actually deal damage to me though. That's not a good trade. He should have started with water element. No one can see that. Hmm. Yeah, he played that uh, 
pretty strangely. I assume that he had, doesn't have that much. Ex he, this guy clearly did not watch my uh, How to Dominate. I'm going to push the wave because I'm going to need to carry this game. So, trying to get as much gold as possible. Doesn't seem like Keanu's comfortable, so. And now I'm going to move topside and try to see if I can take the enemy rates. I want to back and try to get my um, jungle item really quick here so I have all that power. Okay. This is a free kill. That was really, really good for us. Super, super good. We should just get the wave. And I'm just going to back. So yeah, I mean, you're seeing the strength of Echo Jungle, what we're able to do to get our team back in the game. Not sure what the Nar is doing. He somehow took a trade where he's like about to die. Oh, God. Yeah. I think he's just super tilted because he was calling for FF at like three minutes. Like, the wave is actually fine for him. He's not even that far behind. He's just, like, super, like, mentally, um... Yeah, he's, like, he's like mentally checked out, I would say. That's what this is. Um, now I have an option here. I'm going to actually do it. I'm going to sell my pink ward, and I'm going to buy my revolver. Revolver, like, I'm going to have to sit in base for this a little bit, but revolver is such a big power spike. It gives me the uh, ability to just, like, really, like, one-shot people. But that was actually a good time for um, Nar and Kennen to roam for us because then he misses so much top. So yeah, you're gonna see my damage now on waves is actually like pretty, or my on creep camps is pretty insane. Kind of whiffed her ult there, which kind of sucked, but it happens. And we're going here. So you can E and Q during your E. Um, it's just like a way to get a little bit more damage off. It's not super important, but it's just like something that I should just mention. Do you guys have that in your head as a possibility? This guy's gonna die top again, which is fine. It's almost expected at this point. He's just on that next level of tilt, boys. Okay. I can go bot here, potentially. It's just kind of hard into Morg. I'm gonna try it anyway. Thing is, if I get trapped, it's over. That's all I'm gonna do for right now. Good. It's a good combo from him. Double rooted. Take this. I was afraid of the binding and I can't let the stun come through, so that's just what we're doing there. Gonna take this these camps from him. Then I'll probably go towards Dragon. Actually we'll see. I might go towards bot here. Nice. We're doing a lot of work this game. I needed some help. We're gonna lose this fight. I don't know why we went for turret there. We needed to all walk out together. We kind of just let me die for no reason, but it's okay. We're still putting so much impact. I thought you were still alive. Yikes. I mean, I'm doing as much as I can this game.
I'm not gonna argue with him. It's just very, very, very dumb, but I just won't argue with like that. It's like he's trying to like pretty much, I don't know, whatever. We will just ignore it. Go, you should go hard here. Okay, whatever. It's not happening. This guy misses ult by a mile. I don't know. It's really troll how he played that. Tell him what to do next time. Because he clearly just didn't know. Yikes, the 1v3 attempt. Not sure if this is the move. Uh, one and five on Nar so far. Talking about it first. He doesn't understand. And we somehow lost bot turret, even though I pressured there. I mean, this is just kind of like how solo queue is in Season 9, so you just have to, like, deal with this. Most games, you're going to have everyone doing poorly except for yourself, and you're just going to need to carry. If you're not, if you don't enjoy that type of um, struggle, you won't enjoy the game right now. So that's just part of it. I think I might go Merc Treads this game. I think I'm gonna need the tenacity. Kiana's trying to roam way too much. It's crazy that Kiana actually ended up losing lane to Cassidy, but I guess it happens. Tomorrow's the last of my worries. I don't know if Proto would go for this kill. Okay. I think that that would have stunned. That's why I flashed for it. And then it f I think it forced his flash, though. It's good. I'm taking a lot of farm, but this is just kind of like my mentality towards this game specifically. It's like I don't think my team is very good, and I'm going to need to carry. Oh, man. I just won't look. All right. I guess I have to go mid. I might ult soon. Close. Almost killed him. I guess we just live. I'm gonna try to clear the wave with another Q. Okay, nice. And then we back. It's fine. Okay. So this is a game where I'm going to be going for Lich Bane because I think I need the damage. I wouldn't go this every game. I think most of the time I would go like Morello or Zanya's here, but this game seems like a game where I'm going to need to do um, a lot and Lich Bane just allows you to one shot a lot easier. So kind of like the way that this game is gonna play out, cause I'm gonna go in, try to one shot somebody ult and then wait for my stun and then do the same thing again.
Get the Q travel. The w for the stun. I'll take that. It's a decent trade for us. Come on. Oh my god, he's one HP. Damn, I got I got greedy because I had a three man ult there. I'm not sure where Janna is during this fight, but it sucks. Damn. That's so unfortunate. I saw the three-man ult in my eyes, and I'm like, okay, we're definitely going to at least kill one here, and then we, we couldn't. I guess Janna just AFK'd. Happens, though. Yeah, Janna didn't DC. She's just AFK. Which sucks, because, um, yeah. If we had any help in that fight, we obviously kill a bunch of people, but yeah, I mean, it's just kind of season nine, so what can you do? The good thing I like about the Lich Bane Protobell build is the CDR it gives. It's like once you get Zhonya's, then you're 40%. Okay, that didn't do anything. I'll clear the wave. I guess I'll vote yes here. Since we're not even playing the game, you know, I think it's time. Use W. EQ. Oh, God. That was a free kill. He just needed to W EQ. Oh man, I missed my Q here, and then he's gonna live because my Ezreal's not autoing. Okay, never mind, he didn't live. Janna didn't press any abilities there. I'm not sure why, but he just decided not to. He doesn't have uh, mana, so I should be good here. I have to proc your passive, then run. Janna needs to start using her abilities, because if she doesn't use her abilities, we won't be able to win any fights. All right, we're going to go for Zanyas now. I have my Lich Bane. Pretty strong, I'm most CS in the game. Maybe not in the game, but yeah, I'm most CS in my team. Not actually. Janna didn't ult again. Second fight in a row. Good thing I bought Merc Treads or I would have died off getting hit by a bind. Okay. Keep on clearing.
Oh, he just needs to ulti. All he has to do is ulti, and then I'll be able to get off my ulti. But he let the uh, guy run up to me and stun me. It sucks. But what can you do? I can't make him use his abilities. I feel like this guy is like playing with his hand in his pants or something. Like it just it seems very weird that he hasn't um like he was like AFKing during the game. Um Yeah, he was AFK during the game, like he's just like not ulting to save me. Like there, if he just ults the hacker away, I could easily get my ult off. And I'm running in to like tank. Uh Yikes. Very unfortunate one so far. Nice. Never mind, not nice. Not worth. Clip top. Okay, so I'm gonna go try to get the crab now. Nice. Should be able to do something here. Proto belt to the Q. Okay, we can do Baron now. Janna needs to come and help us. Janna needs to come and help us. Nope, that's not the right guy to do that on. Good thing I got Ravenous Hunter here, because it allows me to tank Baron. Oh god, what are we doing? This is just so insane. Shield, she cast it on Ezreal, so she didn't have it. Alright, I have 40% CDR now. My last item will probably be a death cap. I'm gonna buy this because we need to like power spike right now. Um yeah, this is like our biggest time to actually win the game. Like we just got a Baron. We've been losing pretty much the whole game. We lost every lane, etc. But now we have a chance to win, so. Let's see what we can do here. And now we have a bunch of CDR, and a bunch of CDR, like I said, really good on Echo. Um with this build, you're able to do a lot of stuff that you can do before. Okay. Okay. I was going to kill him, but he just got killed by that. Okay. I don't know what to say about that one. I guess I failed my flash. I wasn't expecting the Ezreal to hit him. Hurts. All right. We should just back up here. Use my pots. We should just back. I guess I'll buy a blasting wand here. Nothing else I can really buy. I don't like that we're fighting this. It's actually really dumb for the enemy team to be fighting this because they don't they don't know that I backed. Like, and I could just be sitting there with ult. But um. I don't know, he chose to fight it, so I guess it is what it is. I don't know what's going on. Like, if I stayed around there, they would just lose the game. So, 
I don't know if they had a ward on me, but I think that they're just probably tilted and fought that. Maybe I should have stuck around and just expected the tilt. Pure one shot. So you EQ in the air, then protobelt auto, and then you just get one shot. Okay. Now we're really starting to smurf on them. Pretty good. Take this. Maybe end here. I'm going to look to end. my old still. I'm gonna wait till 16 to use it though. Cause it's only 20 second cooldown now, so. Oh wait, I couldn't get my Zanyas off. Damn, I tried to get my Zanyas off and I couldn't. That's my bad. Interesting. Should be able to win this right here. Damn, this was quite a fucking carry. We were so far behind. I should have got my Zonyas off there after I got the kill, but damn, I'm happy about this one, dude. This is a good how to dominate right here, dude. Three losing lanes, everyone fucking feeding, my team wanting to give up at like five minutes in, and then I just told them I would carry, and then we were able to carry. This is how you play Echo Jungle, man. Champion's really fucking strong right now. Um, I'm pretty happy with like the way that I ended up forcing um, a game out that should have been a loss. But thank you guys for watching, man. I hope you got to see you guys in the next video. I guess we'll do we'll, we'll quickly go look at the damage real quick. And uh, yeah, after we look at the damage, that'll be it for, um, for me on the day. So excited about that game. That was good. That was good. That was good. That's exactly what I like. Oh, God, I accidentally went past this. Okay, I'll go in my match history and find it. Okay, damage. Okay, so here's the damage graph. Here it is. Did most damage by far. So it's good. Good game. Solid. Happy with it. Thank you guys for watching, man, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.